Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the videos. What's going on? So today, uh, first of all, I have to take some four-wheeler parts, which I'm about to grab in there and take them up to Mayflower to meet a guy in a little bit. And then second, I'm gonna go talk to uh, Josh White down at Arkansas Direct Auto about some powder coat stuff for the front and rear as well as see if we can figure out something different for the rear suspension um, in terms of uh, maybe a coil spring or arched leaf springs or something along that lines um, I got parts in for this yesterday I'm taking this to Mayflower to meet a guy with off of the 420 parts bike um, should be meeting me in Mayflower here in a little bit so it is I think it's 35 out here right now so I'm gonna let the truck warm up a little bit and uh, head down to Conway. So. But what I'm talking to him about is some suggestions on what to powder, what color. Um, I was thinking about doing blue and red, um, Illusion Cherry and Illusion Blueberry. Um, but I don't know so I'm going to talk to him look at his SEMA truck a little bit and go from there so, um, I was just going to stick with all blue but <coughs> yesterday I got to look on Instagram and such as that and I've seen some really nice ones with uh, a white truck with red and blue suspension so um, his SEMA truck, his white truck with red and blue. So I'm gonna go look at it, take some notes and such as that, and talk to him and see what he thinks. Um, he knows what wheels I'm gonna do, so he'll be able to tell me if that would match or if it would clash. So, but I'm gonna stop, get some gas for this thing. Um, stop by the bank and I'm gonna head down his way so I'll see you guys here in a little bit okay guys so just got here as you can see Mark's all direct auto um, I'm not gonna film very much in there because I want to talk about it, a bunch of different stuff that I want to keep a secret on this truck um, you know until I tell it's you know kind of finished at least with the lift wheels and tires so uh, I'm gonna go in there and talk to him and see um, And also do some looking at a different color a couple different colors So I will talk to you guys here in a little bit All right guys, so male people just left Who can guess what would be in this box? Comment down below See who can figure it out But, I'm going to go ahead and get this open and uh, see what all we got here. You know what, actually, um, sorry if this video is shaky. Like I said earlier, it is cold. So, actually, I'm going to jump back here and do this. Obviously, it's not fragile. So see if anybody can guess what it is. It's been so long since I rode back here. But, <coughs> let me turn these on. In the last video, I installed these up there. In case y'all want to see that. But, in this package here, 
I finally got around to doing this and uh, order some scrub blades, heavy duty scrub blades for the blue truck. So, order two of those. As you can see here, two of those. You know, because you got two windshield wipers. And I ordered some of their washer tablets. With this here, you make your own washer fluid. Um, you mix one of these to a gallon of water. Um, this actually come at a perfect time because I just ran out of washer fluid. Let's see if I can open this here. Um, now, like I said in yesterday's video, um, if you would, please go watch that one. Um, I am sponsored by Scrub Blade. All of my sponsors are down below in the description. Um, big shout out to all of them. So, here's one of the tablets. One of the little, one of the little tablets. There's five of these in this packet. Um, five. Uh, one of these makes a gallon of washer fluid, which is what this truck takes. And same thing as white truck, and I think most vehicles. Um, and like I said, you just mix this to a gallon of water and let it go. Um, as you can see here, good for bugs, bird crap, uh, leaves, and snow, ice. Um, so, I'm going to try these out. I've never tried these on the white truck. Um, but these are the same wipers that I have on the white truck. Um, you know, very good quality. And these are cheaper than the wipers that I have on here that only lasted six months. So, I believe these in a 22, which these are, are, uh, oh... I think they're like 20 bucks, 22 dollars, something like that, 21, 22 bucks. Um, now, like I said before, actually, I'm going to get one of these out here. Um, hold on. One thing about these seats, nice camera holder. Um, set the camera here. But one thing about these scrub blades is I actually have scrubbers on the. Uh, wiper blade itself so that is kind of nice um, helps clean the windshield and uh, such as that so comes with instructions and these did not but my last ones since I didn't order the vehicle specific ones my last ones come with a bunch of different adapters for different vehicles. You can also buy those um, at Scrub Blade. Um, I think they're like five bucks. But here they are, the uh, heavy duty Scrub Blade. Um, very nice, very nice quality. As you can see, the little scrubbers there and there. Two blades, two, uh, two different blades on this um, like I said about the white truck very flexible um, fit the contour of the windshield and super easy um, you know I know most people take their vehicle somewhere to get the white blade changed which is retarded um, this is like a five minute thing so I'm gonna get out here uh, I'm gonna unpackage this other one and I'm gonna get out here and install these for y'all right quick and show y'all how to if you don't know how which if you don't know how this probably isn't the channel for you but you know whatever um, I'm gonna install these anyway so I'm gonna unbox or unpackage this one and I will get y'all here in a second. okay so I'm gonna install the driver's side one first um, but let me find a place where I can put the camera where you can see it let's see let's try right there what you're gonna do you're gonna grab your new one 
Um, these don't matter left or right. These are both the same size. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to fold these up, your old uh, crappy box ones. See if you can see that on the camera. Yep. All right. So then what you're going to do on these Bosch wipers, uh -uh. you press right here and right here. You squeeze it. It'll be a little bit stubborn, um, but this cap will come off. Here, let me set the camera down real quick. Like so. You just squeeze right here on both sides, and that'll come up. And then you take your wiper and you pull it down and then go back through and then you take your old crappy Bosch wiper and throw it across the yard. Then you take your new scrub blade wiper and uh, let's see here. These are a little bit tricky because these don't have like the cap like those do. Um, but whatever. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this. Okay, so I ended up deleting that last clip, um, the end of the last clip because of wind noise. But all you do is you just slide the scrub blade over and hook it. And it's got these little notches right here that it'll hook into and it ain't going anywhere. So pop that one down, go grab the other one. And I will show y'all on this one since it's not as windy. The parks are living on a hilltop. Uh -huh. But again, I'm going to set the camera right here. Set that there. Again, I'm trying not to get soaking wet here. You push on these little tabs do that slide this through here up and out set that down take your old wash wiper drop it across the yard take your new scrub blade wiper and i'll actually show you all uh, right here let's see right there you can see those little notches right there so it'll clip into that. Um, okay, let's see this. So all you gotta do, literally all you have to do, is just lift up the wiper arm, slide this through here, and get it get it down in there. These are flexible, um, so you just gotta kind of play with it. this flexible piece um, but you can play with it and get this piece down and the wiper in there and it'll just seat you just got to kind of play with it a little bit so that's one thing about these scrub blades that are a little bit different than most um, what I did on the other side I will show you all that down is I put it up at an angle like that and uh, it just kind of clips over so. like so and then you pull it until you hear it click kind of work it in there and it is there so just like that the old ones and show y'all kind of a difference um, so you can see a quality difference you see these are single blade um, single blade no scrubbers on them 
I'm sorry if it's shaky, it's cold out here. Um, they use just plastic body, you know, all plastic. Pretty flimsy. And then the new ones, the new scrub blades, are metal body, which is, I believe, is powder coated with the dual blades, like I talked about, with the scrubbers. Um, they're very flexible, fit the windshield pretty good. A lot, of, a lot of flexible in there um, so I will never buy these wipers again uh -uh. I believe these are $30 a piece and they're junk so. <coughs> here in a little bit um, it's supposed to start raining so when it starts raining I'll get some uh, I'll get some video for you guys of it cleaning the windshield as well as a review of the tablets back here. So I will link uh, scrub blade down below and also these tablets. These here. These are five dollars on their website. Um, you make your own washer fluid with it. All you need is a gallon of water. And what is a gallon of washer fluid? Like six bucks here, I think. So uh, you can't really beat this. So I'm going to give these a try and uh, let you guys know how they work. So, Okay, another thing right quick. is you read on the back of these and it says worked to 28 degrees, um... But it also says here you can mix it with antifreeze solution. Um, so that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the store and get some of that. Um, again, this would only be for winter. So, but I mean, still, you know, one of these little tablets, you figure five of them for one of these boxes is five dollars. So this is a dollar, I say about a dollar a piece. Uh, mix that with a gallon of water, and there you go. So, um, I'm either going to do that or I'm going to get some, uh, rain x de-icer because like i said earlier we are supposed to get snow and sleet and all kind of crap um go here actually and show you guys 38 degrees um chance of rain 60 percent um and it's supposed to snow tomorrow it shows rain here, um, but you look at it every five minutes and it's rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, snow. So I'm going to prepare for snow and see where it goes. Um, going to leave the bed cover off um, in case it does snow. But there they are, guys. The uh, scrub blade wipers. Like I showed in yesterday's, uh, the clip from yesterday that uh, it's going to be at the beginning of this video, the old ones, old piece of crap ones that's over there, um, streaked really bad on this windshield, and uh, I was not a fan of that. The white truck windshield is coated. Um, I do plan to get another glass coating for it because it was coated oh probably two years ago um, so that needs to be redone so but if it starts raining here in a little bit i will uh i'll get some clips for you guys and right quick before i end the video the white truck here i got an idea of what i want to do um as far as powder coating everything um i wanted to go talk to josh um and Cote down there um, I think after talking to them, I think I'm going to do just blue and white um, because of the pearl in the paint. So, um, but I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to order new control arms. Um, all new ball joints, new bushings, all that stuff. I'm going to powder coat stuff a little bit at a time. Um, 
you know that way I'm not tearing the truck down for a month and then waiting for stuff and put it back together and all that crap so I'm gonna powder coat a little bit at a time uh, stuff like control arms I'm gonna order new arms so new stuff like that that I'm gonna order I'm gonna have it done um, before I put them on and for the back I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do um, as far as coil springs leaf springs coilovers whatever um, obviously if I do coils or coilovers I need four links um, or at least track bars so I'm still looking about that um, I might know where another rear end is that I want to do with with 373s at a posi track um, just got to talk to the guy about it so but the camera's about to die so i think i'm going to end the video here um, if you enjoyed today's video please leave a like and comment down below please subscribe hit the little bell icon that way you get notified when i post a video hope you'll have a great day